We have methanol. Question eight. We have methanol, an important chemical in industry. Methanol is produced from methane two-step process. In step one, methane is reacted with steam. So we're producing hydrogen and carbon monoxide in this one. Step two, it reacts, the hydrogen reacts with carbon monoxide uh, to give us our methanol. Okay. Complete the table to show the most favourable conditions to maximise the yield for each step. Okay. So step one. Step one, temperature, and step two, temperature. So let's have a look at this. This is going to be linked to our delta H. Okay, so what you have to remember is, if I want to maximise my yield, I want to push the position of the equilibrium the way I want to go. So I want my, go my equilibrium to shift to the right. In the step one, I have a positive delta H, so going forward is endothermic. So if I add in more heat, it will go for this more, okay? So what I want to do here is make it hotter, okay? The, the higher the temperature for step one, the faster it's going to move to try to get more and more of this to cool it down. Step two is the opposite, because what I've got here is a negative delta H, so it is exothermic. So if I heat it up, it's going to actually try to go back the way because it's going to try and go to the endothermic and remove it. So the better thing would be to have a low temperature for step two. Okay. Um, pressure wise, so what we have to remember for pressure is again, we're trying to make it go to the right. So what I want is to give conditions that are going to go to the, the number of moles that is, is correct on the other side. Okay. So We've got on this side, we have two moles of gas in step one, and on the other side, we have four moles of gas. So if I have four moles of gas on this side and I want to go to the right, what I need to do is to make it want to increase the number of moles of gas. So what I want to do is to lower the pressure. So the lower I make it, the more it's going to go to the right hand side to replace the pressure that I've taken away. If I go to step two, I've got three moles of gas on this side, I have one on that side. So we're looking at the opposite way around from step one, because this time, if I increase the pressure, it is going to um, go to the right, because it's going to try and replace. So I get rid of the pressure. So it's going to try and get rid of the gases. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you just have to work your way through. Uh, B, methanol reacts with compound X in an addition reaction to form methyl tertiary butyl ether, an additive for petrol. And we have a little picture here. Suggest a structure for compound X. Okay, so what we're looking for here, let's look at what we've actually got. So we've got CH3OH here. So that looks like that's that bit there. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is to put something in here that would let that happen. Um, so really what I want to do is to put in a double bond. Okay, so if I put in a double bond, then I can get a hydrogen off here, which could go to this one. Okay, so if I do that, what I would have is my three carbons, a double bond, a methyl off this one, and that would give me a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and a hydrogen and a hydrogen. That would work. Okay, so I've got two methyl propene would be what I'm looking at. Um, and what it said in the mark scheme was if you had named it, then they would give you the mark because if you'd named it, you would have had to get to here first before you actually got that. Okay, but what they're looking for is that diagram. Atom economy for this is 100%. Explain what that means. That means that all of the atoms in the product uh, no in fact let's write it the other way around sorry all of the atoms in the reactants end up in the desired product and that's important okay Right, methanol can be converted to methanol. Use bond enthalpy and mean bond enthalpies from the data book. Calculate the enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole. So I've pulled in the data book because obviously um, 
they are not exactly the same in the new data book which you might have in front of you. Right, so what we're looking for here, we want to break all the bonds and then we want to make all the bonds. Everything breaking ends up plus and the making ends up minus and then just to add them together. Right, so I'm going to break three carbon to carbon bonds. Okay, so that is uh, three times carbon to hydrogen bonds. Sorry, did I say carbon to carbon? Carbon to hydrogen. Carbon to hydrogen bonds, 412. So three times 412, so one, two, three, six. Uh, one carbon to oxygen here, because I want to get rid of that. So one times C to O. Uh, so that's 360. And I need to break an oxygen to hydrogen. And that's 436. Add that all together, it means a grand total of, I am doing, oh no, yes, that's right, sorry, uh, plus 2059. I have scribbled down stuff, but in different places. Okay, on the make side, I want to make uh, two carbon hydrogens, which is 824. Uh, I want to make one carbon double bond O and where's that? Seven, seven, four, three. And I want to make uh, one hydrogen to hydrogen on my bond enthalpies ones. So four, three, six. Oh, I did something silly here. Uh, no, that is the same, isn't it? Carbon to oxygen, carbon. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. That's fine. Uh, no, 463. Sorry, that is 463. But my number here is correct. Okay. Um, and 436 is right on this side. Sorry, that's just because I've written it in two different places in my, in my wee book. Um, my make then is minus 2003. Add these up together, and that gives me plus 56 kilojoules. Permal. Sorry, not the neatest one of me doing it, but hopefully clear. Okay, that's a question. Done.